Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel, Lori Kendallover, going to do a Goose Creek candle review for you. And um, I am super excited about these because these are two of the last ones that I have gotten of the more like the, the kind of camping collection um, from Goose Creek. And so um, I wanted to get these done for you. I actually took these camping with me. We went RVing, um, camping, we usually do it annually with my extended family. And so we did that and I took these um, with me and I had one other one that I'll talk about too that I took with me and melted in the RV that we stayed in. Um, and so these were quite fun um, scents to take and actually be camping with. Um, and so we have Fireside S'mores and we have Cabin Getaway. So these are 14.5 ounce, uh, three wick soy blends as most of you know. And this one got a little sooty. Um, and I actually burned these, not just lamp melting, which I do a lot. Um, yeah, the, the wax got a little dirty and you know, we, we were probably putting the lid on it while it was, you know, smoking. Uh, this one is a little bit cleaner, but um, not as used as the Fireside S'mores. So let's go ahead. So we have Fireside S'mores, which is graham crackers, um, milk chocolate, fluffy marshmallow, and vanilla bean. Let me just tell you, honestly, um, for a, I'm not a huge fan of all chocolate scented candles. Like for me, it has to really be a good scent, not just kind of some somewhat synthetic, overly sweet chocolate scent, which I think Goose Creek does pretty well with their chocolate scents in general. Um, this one for me, I really got the chocolate. I got marshmallow. I, you know, that toastiness, not, I, for me, it wasn't just fluffy marshmallow. I think I, there was a t hint of toastiness in there. Um, and then vanilla bean graham cracker was probably a little bit of a back note for me, not the top note, but I de definitely think that there was graham cracker in there. Um, but I really liked it. Like for me, it, barring having a more toasty, marshmallow like a really good and toasted one this one wasn't quite that that toasty but like maybe a hint i think this is a really good chocolatey you know s'mores type candle i really liked it It had a great throw of course we, we melted it in mostly in the rv i have melted it um since i've been home uh, that's why it's more melted than the other one and it did pretty well here too i'd say in the rv you know which is a smaller space it was probably like a eight have nine for sure. Um, yeah, I, I'd say in the RV was about a nine here at home. I think it was probably an eight. Um, but still really strong. And I have to say, um, stronger than a lot of the other scents in the camp, more camping collection. Um, I did have a couple others. Um, I did reviews of the others and I think one or two of them was not bad. Um, had a decent throw. Most of them were fairly light. I had more luck with the, the cupcake collection of the ones I got. The camping one, mm, some of them were a little bit hit and miss, but there were one or two others that I thought were fairly good throw. And I definitely think that the Fireside S'mores is on the list of a good thrower for this collection. Uh, Cabin Getaway, um, I wasn't sure what to think about it, um, I, but I wanted to get it just so I could have some more of the collection. I think that they're so cute. And I like the scent notes, uh, which is cedarwood, sage, uh, lemon peel, eucalyptus, fir needles, and oak wood. So this one I was kind of on the fence about because I don't really like really um, floral or earthy over the, I mean, some earthy ones are really good. Some of them are not my thing, especially when you get some lemon peel in there. Then you start to get some of that chemically like cleaner type scent. This one um, was kind of in the middle. So when I first started burning this one, I did get some of that lemon peel, kind of a cleaner type lemon scent. But then the um, sage and cedarwood and the fir kind of cooked in, uh, kicked in. Eucalyptus, I'm not a huge fan of eucalyptus. I know a lot of people are. This one I think could have done without the eucalyptus. That might have interacted a little bit with the lemon peel, creating some of that more chemically like cleaning scent. Um, there's no way to know for sure, of course. Um, I do like this one. I think it's a good kind of outdoorsy, woodsy 
scent, you know, with some citrus, so like the lemon peel. Um, sage, I'm not sure how that much that contributed with the combination, but I definitely, I did like it. Once it got going and got pulled out and really, you could really pick up all the notes, not just like the lemon and like some, you know, fur needles. Um, I did enjoy it. I do think it's a good scent. If you like the woodsy eucalyptus -y type, I think you would really like this one. Now, scent throw for me, um, in the trailer, this was probably seven and a half home, probably an eight, maybe yeah, it wasn't as strong at home as the Fireside S'mores, but um, it it's definitely not weak. I think it has a decent throw. Um, I could smell it. Um, I think definitely think burning these, um, some of them melting and burning seems to be about the same. These ones, possibly burning them might be a little bit stronger in this collection. Um, I don't know. It just, some of them seemed really weak to me. So these two came out strong burning. So I don't have any complaints about the scent strength on these. Uh, I think they're pretty strong and they smell good. And um, I don't think I would get the Cabin Getaway again just because I have a lot of candles that are like the more outdoorsy, woodsy, cedar type, you know, fur needle ones that I like a little bit more, like Snowy Bridge and, um, you know, uh, Winter Splendor and, and ones like that or like... Uh, some of the Christmas ones from Kringle, um, I think I like too. But this chocolate one, the Fireside S'mores, if it went on sale, I probably might pick up another one for next, uh, for fall, like to burn it in, in the next season. Um, but yeah, it smells really good. I really liked it. Now, the other one I was talking about I wanted to show you is, I'm going to back those up, is Golden Honeycomb. This is the other one. This is a Bath and Body Works candle that I actually also melted um, in the RV and have melted at home. And this one, I really like it. So the scent notes to this one, I'm just going to read them to you is savory, honey, cozy, vanilla, warm butterscotch with natural essential oils. Okay. So listen, someone commented on one of the Facebook book groups that they thought the golden honey smelled like one of the honey scented cereal ones from like Goose Creek's honey scented one. Uh, I disagree with that a little bit for me this one I like better and I like the ones from Goose the, the the golden honey whatever cereal one from Goose Creek I like that one I think I did a review on it I can't remember the exact name so I apologize for that um this one to me is different I like it better and I'll tell you why because it has butterscotch in it that butterscotch makes that honey like a buttery warm sweet golden honey like on on cold sniff it almost smelled like clover honey like i wasn't sure if it had like a floral in it melting and pooling out i mean we had it in the rv and it just made that rv smell so good just kind of a warm buttery butterscotchy honey and um i would definitely I, it's so funny because it took me forever to get one of these I wanted the golden honeycomb. My stores never had them. So I couldn't do like a, you know, the shop online and pick up in store uh, that Bath and Body Works does because they never had them in the stores here. So every time I would like have a coupon, I want to do that get the, get it where I didn't have to pay the sales tax and the shipping. I could never do it because it was, I could never get it in store. So I it took me forever to order one, even though I kept putting it in my basket, all these different sales. But every time I had to pay the shipping and the tax, it just jacked the price back up to the point where I was like, okay, I'm not paying that. So I waited until they finally had a sale where I was buying other things and it was on sale enough and I it was a good enough deal where I either got a free shipping or I paid the shipping because it was a good enough deal with the other things I purchased that were on sale. And so I ended up getting it. Man, I wish I'd gotten it sooner or ordered two when I did because it's so good. I really do like a good honey scented candle, honey vanilla, honey bakery. So I'm so glad I got this one. If it comes out on sale or if it comes out, I don't even know if it's on Bath and Body Works site anymore. I never seen it in the store. So for sure I would buy that again. If it was a good deal, I would pick up another one of these because this golden honeycomb by Bath and Body Works is yummy. 
Anyway, so I just want to plug that in for you guys. But yes, these two, and you know what? Goose Creek's having sales right now. They have markdowns. These ones are probably marked down a bit. So um, if you're intrigued and you haven't ordered these scents yet, you know, hopefully this review will help you. And my other reviews on this collection that I did um, previously, hopefully it'll help you decide whether you want to pick up some of these if they're, you know, decent sale. Um, these ones, I'm not sure how much they're going for right now. It might be like $9.99 or... Um, some of them I think on the website right now are down to like $5.99 for one or two. Anyway, so hopefully that helps you and you can make just some decisions about the sale whether you want to get in there. I'm waiting for the newest ones to go on sale again, like really good solid sale uh, for the new fall ones from Goose Creek and then I'll be picking those up so I can do a review for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this is help you, helpful to you. Please like and subscribe. It's so important that you guys know how much that matters, um, liking and subscribing for us YouTubers. And leave any comments in the comment box if you have any. And we'll see you guys again really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.